write code to remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list. Afterwards, how would you solve this problem if a temporary buffer is not allowed? So in this example here, we create a linked list. This linked list is implemented as a doubly linked list with a head and a tail. To see the implementation, please see my linked list video. After we create a new linked list, we add some elements to our linked list. Then we send in our linked list by reference to our delete duplicates function. We get the first node, aka the head node, and set it to the variable node. Then we create a hash table to store the unique elements. We create a variable to store the previous unique node. Now we use a while loop to loop through our linked list. If the hash table contains the current node's data, then we must remove that node. In a doubly linked list, since we are removing the current node, we must take the next node's previous pointer and point it back to the previous node. So we do this by checking if next node is not equal to null and then setting node.next.previous equal to the previous unique node. Whether this is a singly linked list or doubly linked list, we will have to set the previous unique node's next node equal to the current node's next node because we are getting rid of the current node. So essentially the previous node is pointing to the node after the current node, and the current node is now gone. Otherwise, if we didn't find that data in our hash table, we must now add it to our hash table. Then we set the new previous unique node to the current node. Because this is a doubly linked list with a head and a tail, we check if we are at the end of the list. If we are at the end of the list, then we set the previous unique node to the tail of the list. This would typically not be publicly available, so we would usually have to implement this function on the linked list itself. And then we continue through the list by setting the current node equal to the next node. So let's try out delete duplicates. As you can see, here is our original data of our linked list. And when we loop through forward using our pointer to our next node, we have 200, 300, 400, 500, which correctly removed our non-unique nodes. When we loop through backwards through the list using our previous pointer, then we get 500, 400, 300, 200. So we also correctly removed our non-unique nodes.